Hello Tokusatsu community, welcome back to Soto Sundays here on the Toku Toy Story YouTube channel. This is the series where I talk about all the latest news in the Soto, Yudo, and Shoto line of figures from Japan. Today we have a little bit of news from the Soto line for Kamen Build, as well as the Yudo line for Looper Ranger vs. Pato Ranger. Let's get right into it with Kamen Build. So as revealed last time on the Kamen Build side of things, we saw that the Tora UFO set would be revealed in set 9. Well, we have another figure for set 9 here, and that is the brand new form, Cross Seas, Cross Sea Magma form. So this form looks great. I'm a personal big fan of this form. And this figure will be out in set 9, and it comes with everything it needs to. It has the, the uh, knuckle that can be detached from the belt, which makes sense because that's what he does in the form. And overall, it just looks like it's a really good representation of this form. They really did a good job on this one. So this comes out in set 9. Another thing we have revealed for Kamen Rider Build is, if you remember a couple weeks ago, we talked about the Guardians set, the special set released in April of the Robot Guardians. Well, we have a couple little bit of new things in there. Um, at the time, they had not revealed the Sato Guardian because it was not in the show yet, but they did have confirm that there are stickers to make the Sato Guardian in the Guardian set, which makes sense. But, the big thing that's kind of exciting, I don't even know what this means, but this is exciting. Apparently there's going to be a special set of build figures again in August, called like Build's Enemy Line or something like that, which is said to have a bunch of different villains in it from the show. Like the Hard Guardian has been confirmed for it, which is a new type of Guardian that's showed up in the show recently. So that's been confirmed, the Hard Guardian, as well as the Kaiser from Heisei Generation's Final has also been confirmed for the line. But they said there's going to be other ones in there, but we don't know what. I'm hoping for a Hokuto Trio, personally. We'll see. We'll see what happens in uh, closer to August when we get to that. And then finally, from the Looper Ranger vs. Pazza Ranger Yuta line, we have not really a new figure yet, but we have a prototype for the Portaman grunts that the uh, that are used in the show. So we don't know if that will be, they'll probably be released in the next set, and it looks pretty cool. As well as we see the Looper Rangers and the Pazza Rangers being able to use the weapons of the um, mini plot mecha, just like they use the weapons of the auxiliary mecha in the show. So that's pretty cool. They are sized decently okay for them to be used like that. And it's kind of a cool accessory. So, you know, you know, Bandai's really killing it with these two lines, really giving everyone everything they would want to have a perfect representation of these two shows. So that's all I have to talk about here on this episode of Soto Sundays. So be sure to follow me on Twitter, either at RiderInjury335, at TokuTopics, or at the Toku Teens. And be sure to check out my blog post over at the Toku Toy Story News blog. And be sure to check out my channel, Toku Topics, link in the description below. And until next time, Tokusatsu forever.